Thank you, Lord, for giving us amazing examples of compassion, service, and love for one another, exemplified by our first responders. We all share the same spirit of love for our communities and a willingness to sacrifice. Uh, you've been nominated by police chiefs, sheriffs, fire chiefs, heads of agencies that you're part of. We take those recommendations and uh, basically we're in awe of some of these stories. We really are. The Valor Awards are a measure of our very public on-air support for you. Of course, you're serving every day across our state. You do noble work. Uh, you and your co-workers deserve our respect and our appreciation. Pour out blessings on these, your servants who so generously devote themselves to helping others. Grant them courage when they are afraid, wisdom when they must make quick decisions, strength when they are weary, and compassion in their work every single day. More than ever, we need people who are willing to stand up and fight, not for a political agenda, but for what is right. And I think back to last March, when I had to take my husband's SWAT vest to Washington, D.C. to exemplify exactly how dangerous some of the legislation that was being proposed truly was. When the alarm sounds and they are called to aid both friend and stranger, let them faithfully serve you by serving others. We have had some pretty incredible memories, whether it's ride-alongs, breakfast, visits, trainings, tracking people down at the border. We've had some pretty amazing experiences. Lord also bless those who must wait, trust, and hope every time a first responder goes into action. We thank our Congresswoman, we thank all of you for being here tonight, for sharing the spirit of love for our communities, a willingness to sacrifice, and, and it can be a sacrifice. Many who were here tonight these are truly awards of recognition by your peers, and thanks to your families and loved ones, those that have joined us tonight and support your efforts.